What is up, bro gamers? Welcome back to Greater Somalia Part 2. It's been weeks since I continued this Let's Play, so you know what? Might as well do it today. Uh, this week, I'm going to continue Honduras as well. Again, I've got the Caribbean to deal with only with Honduras. So I'm, almost, I'm almost finished with that Let's Play, so I'm going to be doing that this week. Probably be uploading that on Thursday. Uh, tomorrow? What am I going to do tomorrow, actually? Or maybe I'll do it tomorrow, actually. Uh... Wednesday, the usual is Weeb Wednesdays. Thursdays, uh, oh, that's right, I got a new game, Defcon. Uh, maybe I should upload Defcon tomorrow, or ah, my schedule's all messed up right now. But uh, I've got Weeb Wednesdays, then I've got Hearts of Iron Four for Fridays. Since I did a straw poll, and everyone wanted to see Hearts of Iron Four every Friday, so that's what I'll be doing. Uh, again, the Steam Contest, the twelfth edition of the Steam Contest, will soon be announced. Again, I'm just prepping things up and getting some games ready. Uh, you can't add the games into your Steam inventory anymore. By the way, guys, this is a new thing I never knew about. But uh, <laughs> I can't be buying the games instantly and just sending them to my inventory now. So I'm going to have to uh, announce the contest first and put the games that I'm going to be giving away in the description. And then whatever game you guys pick or win, whoever uh, gets chosen in the contest... I will have to buy that game directly and then send it as a gift to you directly. So, uh, Steam just removed that little thing. I don't know, I kind of missed the uh, Steam inventory thing. I guess the inventory is pretty useless now. All you have to use it for now is probably stickers and whatnot. But uh, yeah, they're removing that option. So, uh, Steam Contest will soon be announced. And I also have the Patreon that I created, by the way, my own Patreon account. If you guys wish to support me and check the... Uh, the awards that I have there, there's a link below as well to my patron. Again, it's optional if you want to support me monthly, you know, a dollar, five dollars. But it, it definitely helps for a future Steam contest when I'm trying to buy games or when you guys are trying to request to see a game, I can buy the game there. And sometimes it helps kind of pay the bills because, again, I pay bills and whatnot. Who doesn't? Uh, adult things. Kind of sucks, right? <clears throat> so... Uh, part two of Greater Somalia. Uh, in the first part, I was having a lot of trouble trying to take Kenya, if you guys remembered. And I was getting really frustrated and, uh, just getting angry instantly. So, uh, and it's because I have a bunch of obsolete units. T90s or T80s, I think is what I have. T80s are really not working out well. I've got a bunch of engineers and, uh, Chinese ebl 09s again, not working out too much. I thought they were supposed to be advanced infantry designs, but again, uh, they really are not, in my opinion, and China uses it most of the time. So, uh, off recording, I decided to uh, do a little of my own uh, offensive and attack Nairobi for a bit, and it took over probably 20 minutes, roughly 20 to 30 minutes, trying to keep going back and forth, repairing units, sending units to Nairobi, and just harass them basically remove all those garrisons they had like four to five garrisons and every time i removed one they kept adding one or two garrisons and they also they also kept uh deploying units from their bases in uh nairobi and lakipia and that really frustrated me and i just had enough i don't want to discontinue this let's play i just started it again the goal of this let's play is to take out all of east africa only east africa okay so, I'm going to continue here, and it looks like I might be taking Nairobi, because, again, I did a little of my own attackings against that capital city of Kenya. And then once I'm done with uh, Kenya, it looks like I'll probably be heading for either Uganda, Tanzania, or Ethiopia. I don't think Ethiopia is a good option right now. They're kind of busy with the rate trade right now, though. Uh, the only other Eastern African country that is at war. Yeah, that's it. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Let us continue this. And, uh, yeah. Tomorrow, either Honduras, continuation of that, or DEFCON, a new RTS game again. Let's go fastest this time. And there's an engineer over there. Oh, we've got units coming, so that'll help. Just recon, though. Got more tanks coming in. They're bringing another recon over there. And looks like this unit will need repairs. 
And again, Somalia lacks uh, reserves, fuel, and ammunition. So I'm running out of fuel and ammunition a lot quicker than in the other Let's Plays. But again, this is Somalia. And there really isn't that many or that, ma that much supply in the area, as you can see. It's very lightish blue here in the area. The region, the position, however you want to call it. Alright, we booted him out. Let's head down for Nairobi before they add another garrison in there or to deploy some stupid random tank or engineer. I do not want to see another garrison be deployed. Oh lord, please don't. Come on, we got it. Boom. Oh, oh no. Hold it, hold it. I'm going to have to sacrifice a bunch of units. I know, I'm sorry guys, but you guys are going to have to hold it. We're not, I'm not gonna uh, lose Nairobi. Hell no. I've had enough of Kenya and that first part. Let us not continue with that crap. Hold it, guys. Oh, man, look at all this. This is so weak. Oh, I'm so glad to hear those words. Fatality, indeed. But there you guys have it. They are eliminated, and look what Kenya has! Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Three Leopard 2A5s, a Centurion Mark III tank, an M60 A3 TTS Patton, a few engineers here and there, and a bunch of fighters. Oh crap, they're gonna uh, probably explode if I don't deploy airfield. Damn it! Oh my gosh, this sucks so much. I did take Kenya, but I can't deploy yet barracks, airfields, or any other sea piers. Why? Because again, Somalia has a lack of reserves. I can't do anything. So these air units will probably be useless and will probably get destroyed in the middle of the air because they have no fuel, very low fuel. And they probably won't make it to the only airfield that I have deployed in Mogadishu. So let us see what happens. You guys better make it. The only airfield. One of them is probably going to explode. Oh, no, they're going to make it. What? Oh, that's nuts. Oh, well. They made it. Because uh, in the first part, or while I wasn't recording, I resumed the game. And I just figured out that uh, there were a few, or I think there were like three fighter jets and two helicopters stuck in this lake here, I think this is a lake here, it's not a sea, it's definitely a lake. They were stuck over here, and uh, they couldn't make it to the airfield all the way in Mogadishu, and there were no airfields nearby here, and so they just basically, well, what is it, crashed, crashed and burned in the lake, basically. You polluted the lake, good job. So yeah. No airfields whatsoever. No barracks at all. It's a barren wasteland right now. So this is going to be pretty hard. I mean, I got to deploy at least one barracks and one airfield around. And I want to deploy the one in Kisumu. That's the one I want. Ethiopia can wait. But at least I finally got through them. And what happened to my GDP? My GDP was like roughly 10 to 11,000 at the start. And now look, it's below 3,000. Oh man, my people must hate me now. I'm sorry guys. I don't know what happened. Well, it's war. You know war. War never changes. Yeah. Huh? Alright, so. We got more units over here. Still repairing. We got three more tanks over here. Let's bring them down here. And then I'm going to repair these air units over here. There we go. And we're going to repair these units and send them back to Kismayo. Should I rep yeah, I got to repair these ones as well. Send that helicopter to Mogadishu. I want to keep my land and air units separate. That's what I'm trying to do. I've got two more helicopter defenders over there. Thank you, Kenya, for the units. Thank you so much. <laughs> It really does help though. I'm gonna keep you guys over here. Screw it. I'm gonna have to use all these units to the best of my ability. So far, 60 unit kills, 23 unit losses. That's a lot, actually, if you ask me. Got roughly 43,000 military casualties. 
And I think I could go to... No, I can't. Who am I at war with? Ah, South Africa. Oh, what a drag. So I've got a total of 8 air units. And then I've got... 22, 22 more units over here. In, uh... Harga Yesa. And that's for Ethiopia and Djibouti. I think I should just probably take out Djibouti right now. Again make some progress here and get a little closer to uh, Ethiopia's capital of Addis Abeba. Texas here is giving me a conventional missile but what's that gonna do? Nothing at all for Somalia. Let's check the rest of the world. The rest of the world's at peace. So it really doesn't matter. Oh man this is gonna be another pain, another drag here. Kampala has seven garrisons and then I gotta get through these other cities and towns. Jinja 4, Iganga 2, Bushia 1, Mbala 1. I don't have to deal with their uh, fabrication or the other city behind, actually. But still, Kampala is a very heavily defended city, capital city as well. And Uganda might have more units and their reserves. So I'm not looking forward to taking Uganda. <laughs> they got a lot of people, so you know they gotta have a lot of units in there. And what hurt me the most was actually the artillery units that uh, Kenya had. They were using a lot of howitzers, not howitzers, but uh, what were they using? Uh, you get the gist, artillery units, and they were destroying and damaging my units so quickly. And again, my units are pretty much obsolete, very low tech, and I just take a lot of damage here. How much do I have? I was repairing... I've got 22 tanks still in my barracks. There, another one deployed, or most of these are about to be deployed. Alright, so most of these tanks are ready for a go. China, no thanks. Midwest Union, they're my ally. I'll accept. <clears throat> Labor shortage. 1.2%. If you guys have any questions, please leave in the comments below. I think a lot of you guys have questions. I've been leaving comments about other games, I think. I haven't checked the comments yet lately. I just woke up from my nice nap. I thought I was going to have a headache, but thank goodness I uh, it went away. So, I'm good to go here. Alright. Oh, wait, what is this? Is this a part of Kenya? I think it was. It was. So, I've got some other units over here in the bottom. I've got another hind. Bring them up. Send them to Nairobi. And I'm still waiting for those tanks over here. So I'll probably have roughly over a hundred units over here for an invasion against Uganda. I don't even think that'll be enough <laughs> to take Kampala. Uh, I can't deploy. Oh yes, I can. I could add garrisons. You know what I'm gonna do? Activate a barracks there, and probably deactivate this barracks over here once uh, all these tanks are out. Come on, I need those tanks. Who's giving me an offer? Mexico. Nothing good there. I don't think this is enough to take uh, this is booty as well. Oh, man. This is such a painful let's play to do, man. It's going to be a slow one at that. Everyone out? Nope. I'm still waiting for those leopards. I want those leopards. Those leopards are the key to this war. I cannot lose these three leopard 2A5s. I don't care about the T-80s or the Centurion tanks. I care about the leopard the most. That might be the most strongest advanced unit that I have right now for Somalia. And probably could win wars. Alright, so let us go to the border by Djibouti. This is all I've got. This is all I've got. And Djibouti has more units in their reserves probably. Nothing out there, but they definitely have reserves in there. Let us see what happens. Let's do it. Oh, we caught him off guard. It looks like we destroyed all of their units, though. Oh, well. Uh, I'll take it. Yeah, man. I'll take it. But already I'm losing ammunition. So fast. And this recon is... Oh, never mind. I thought he got destroyed, but he's okay. I'm sorry, Jibuti. I'm sorry. 
timer is done. Now it's quick. Doesn't even feel like 15 minutes. I'm not trying to do 20, 30 minutes. Heck no. Once I'm done with your booty, then I'm just gonna, you know, end this part. And then wait for another day to do another part for a different Let's Play and stream, hopefully. Alright, there goes your booty. Alright. Save that game before it's gone. I don't know if my PC crashes. I don't know. But there you guys have it. Kenya, Djibouti eliminated today. Two nations. I think that's some sort of progress. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy about that. But uh, as you can see, Somalia is growing a bit larger now, day by day, week by week, month by month. However, you know, often I upload this Let's Play. But again, I've got Uganda. Rwanda, Burundi, Tanzania, Malawi, maybe Mozambique. Oh, I don't, I'm not looking. Yee. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't want to deal with South Africa. Let's leave Mozambique out of this. Malawi. And then up over here. Probably eliminate Sudan, Central Africa, and Chad. I think that was my goal of Somalia. I don't know. We'll see how, how far I can go with Somalia, how long it lasts. Because, again, I'm having problems with Somalia right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed part two of Greater Somalia. As always, Edible Gamer, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time.